is Rich Dostal. Uh, today I was going to make a short video of my uh, lathe that I turned into a CNC. Um, it's just, this is a Clausing 5900 series. Uh, it's a 5914 to be exact. Um, I bought it as a manual machine and I wanted to have a CNC without the uh, cost and taking up the space of a turning center. So what I did was the uh, first thing I tore it apart, uh, sanded it and buffed it, and scraped on it, painted it. Uh, it got it looking nice. Uh, then the first thing I did was I made an adapter down here on the uh, end of the lead screw uh, that has a thrust bearing on each end and a nut right here to take my end slack to zero and a lock nut right there to tighten it up so that it stays. That keeps my end slack on the lead screw at zero zero. Um, I decided to uh, try it with a lead screw instead of putting in a ball screw. If it was not going to be accurate enough for me, I could always put a ball screw in later. And from what I've used it so far, um, it seems that it's going to work real fine. Um, on my Z axis here with the lead screw, I have about three thousandths backlash which can be compensated for in my controller, which is not an issue. Uh, the motor, uh, motor slash gearbox here, I made a wooden pattern for and had cast out of cast iron. And the cover, of course, is aluminum. I uh, milled that out on my CNC mill. Around on the back side here, this is my Z motor right here. Goes in with, uh, runs off a timing belt in here which is a uh, two to one ratio, smaller on the uh, motor and bigger on the lead screw. Uh, this is my Z-axis limit switch right here. Uh, and then if we can come over here and we'll look at the, my X-axis. My X is all, it's uh, coupled directly to the cross slide screw and it's made with um, half inch and one inch plate aluminum steel, or I mean aluminum. Uh, this is my limit switch going in, and my limit switch back here can be adjusted with this rod on the alt stroke. Um, and then over on the end of the headstock here, I have my spindle encoder to tell the um, controller how fast, how many RPMs the uh, spindle is turning. I have a little program set up in here. We're just going to make a quick test cut here just to show you what's what it's doing. The motor makes a little noise, so it's probably going to be a little noisy for you to hear, but you can see what's going on.
Uh, the way I do this on the lead screw here is I leave my half nuts lever engaged all the time and uh, that drives the carriage back and forth. I leave my tumbler lever out of position so that none of the gears in the quick change gearbox turn and I also leave this in a neutral position so that nothing else there turns. Um, if I decide to use it as a manual lathe all I have to do is drop my half nuts lever down, pull the tumbler lever up and there I go, it's ready to, ready to be used as a manual lathe again. When the uh, motors are turned off, like it's easily, this can easily be turned because it's hooked right to the motor and it's just a one-to-one -one drive. Here, since it's going through the lead screw, we can't turn that, so that's what I have to drop this down so that I can move the carriage. So that about does it. Uh, hope you had a little insight on my project here. And if you ever decide to um, convert your clausing 5900 lathe to a CNC, um, look me up and I'll give you some advice. Talk to you later.